For this project, you are going to be making a coral reef and adding some fishy friends. First thing I'm going to do is I just crumbled up a piece of paper. You don't need this paper, but I just took some computer paper from downstairs in my printer. Gonna crumble it up a little bit and then glue it down. You can use Elmer's glue, hot glue, whatever you want. Just be careful if you're using hot glue. So you have this gold paint and I'm gonna paint the bottom to be sand colored. And you'll want to work on a mat so you don't get any paint on your table. I'm just using one of the pieces of paper that came in the kit. So now that I have the base on there, well, that is drying. I'm going to make some of the coral and all the fun stuff that goes into the coral reef. So I can take these pipe cleaners. And I'm going to twist them up and do that with a couple of them. And you can wrap it along a pencil if you want. You can make them zigzaggy going back and forth like that. I think I'm going to turn this into seaweed. All of those, I'm gonna set those off to the side. You have some egg cartons. You can do a lot of fun stuff with these. You can turn them into anemone looking things. You can go and cut the tops of them. I'm gonna do that with all of them actually. I'm gonna keep this part in the middle intact because I'm gonna use that for something else, I think. If you're strugg struggling with cutting them, you can always just rip them off and you could always rip them down to you don't have to cut those if you're if that's hard for you to cut i just rip them and try to start placing things where you want them to go i'm actually going to take some of this extra and kind of glue it down to make texture for the coral reef and kind of build it up a little bit more and we have some of this we can cut I'm gonna take a Sharpie and draw how I want it to look. And you could take crayons and color it if you want. So yeah, that's adding a little bit of color. Um, you could also take markers and color it in if you want. You could also just paint it if you want. Or you can just leave it plain. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to put hot glue along the bottom. Stick that on. I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna glue on all the things that I want to paint. Have a toilet paper roll and notice i'm not adding the colorful things just yet i'm gonna do everything that i want to paint and decorate i'm gonna add those before i add anything else i'm gonna glue this inside this toilet paper roll right here i think and then while i'm waiting for that glue to harden i have some polymer clay here I can do a lot of things with this. I think what I wanna do is turn some of this into fishies. How to make a basic fish. You make a circle and then you pinch the bottom and then you pinch the sides on the bottom. You can always use some tools to kind of shape it a little bit. The skewer or the leftover skewer from your, from your boat. You can always use to shape it a little bit. Cute little fish. I'm gonna make a couple more of these fish. For the blue, I think I'm gonna make a little octopus. Her legs, she's gonna be a little octopus. I'm gonna make sure she has eight legs. Kind of move the legs kind of how I want them. Awesome, set that off to the side. Ooh, yes, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna turn these into sponges. Do you know how sponges, like a sea sponge? Okay, now I'm gonna throw these in the oven. I'm gonna cook them at 275 for 15 minutes. And while all of that is going, I'm going to paint. So I would put down some newspaper to paint with. Then you're gonna have some different colors that you can use for this. Go in, paint some of my greens. Now that everything that I wanted painted is painted, it's time to start adding some of these final touches. The paper that you have, you can do a lot of different things with it if you want. What I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna twirl some of it. On this paper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit of an angle like this and then start on the wider spot and start rolling it down and let it go. And then we have these little things. I'm also going to do the same thing. This time, cut little lines in them. I like the way the splatter looks on here. So I'm just gonna go in, get that in, sprinkle it up. We have a fun little thing that I could put back here. Do that again. What I'm gonna do with this is I just wanna just take this and just crumble it up into balls. And just place it some places. Just creating some texture. And once we have everything that we want, we can start putting it all together. Very exciting. So I have some of this crinkle paper. I'm just gonna go like a stick or something to kind of push it down so you're not getting any on your fingers because ouchie, ouchie, we don't want that. Now we can add even more little details. So I have some of these straws, add some straws and some of them have like little things to them. I can take the pipe cleaners now stick them where I want them to go and I can bend them. And I have all of these little puff balls we can add. And finally, time to add the seashells and the polymer goodies. Now for the polymer clay, I wanna go and I'm gonna take a Sharpie. You can take a marker, whatever you want. And I'm going to add faces. If you want it to be a certain kind of fish, you could always add other features. You could add faces on the seashells too. I think I'm gonna put the octopus looking at that little friend like, hello. I'm gonna have this fish in here. And this one's gonna go under the tunnel. If I can get it to stick. There we go. Add these sponges. And there we go. Our coral reef is done. Happy creating, guys. I hope you have fun making your coral reef.